Hey, my friends in Alabama, this is meteorologist Mark Torregross from MLive here in Michigan, and I want to help you survive this storm system that is heading your way. So let's go through what us Michiganders do to survive here in Michigan. I know you got about, what, uh, one to three inches of snow on the way, so we always get prepared before a storm comes. Uh, there's some staples that you might not think of bacon gotta always have a pan of bacon going at all times during a major winter storm uh, let's see what else we usually do you know you got to have your your fruits you got to have of course your eggs and your milk and of course you got to have your bloody mary mix all right next problem food wise is you could lose power so hopefully you still have piles and piles of Christmas cookies left that will get you through a major storm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go outside and help you survive this winter storm warning you have with one to three inches of snow on the way. Of course, you're gonna want to have yourself a nice sturdy winter coat, a very heavy winter coat. Now, ignore me because it's not that bad here in Michigan right now. It's seven degrees. Okay, so we're, we're pretty mild, and uh, you know, you're gonna definitely wanna have warm pants on and things like that. Um, but again, ignore what we do here in Michigan. Let's go take a look out into the garage here and uh, show you some other things. Oh, yeah, here in Michigan, convertible stays in about eight months out of the year. You probably want a second survival Refridge, uh, you know, in Michigan here, if if you don't have enough space to waste food in one fridge, you get a second one. Of course, that houses all of the Dos Equis and the uh, Siren Amber Ale, and yeah, the captain will see you through. Okay, let's go on to some more safety things. You're going to want to have yourself a real good generator. But that's not the only thing you need. You need a very long extension cord, and this is the first cord that's going to be plugged in when you lose power. And the reason being, that cord is gonna run from your generator to your router. What is the world gonna be like if you and the family are all secluded into your home without Netflix, without Amazon Prime, without Pinterest. Make sure you have a long enough cord to get you through, definitely. All right, let's go outside and uh, work on snow removal for you. Again, oh, I guess I should mention that you're gonna wanna have yourself a solid pair of winter boots or two, you know, again, ig ignore me because it's Michigan and it's not bad. It's seven degrees already this morning and the wind chills, oh, it's not bad. It's five, 10 below, something like that. But you're gonna be down into the 20s. I looked on the wind chill chart. You could actually get frostbite in about three hours in Alabama. So you're gonna need to be careful. All right, snow removal. <laughs> yeah, actually they make a shovel that is specifically for snow removal. You might be thinking, what a piece of junk. It looks like someone ran over with a semi truck. Well, what the department stores aren't going to tell you is you can actually use this kind of shovel or this kind of shovel to get rid of the snow also. And they definitely will not tell you this secret. You can use a broom to broom it off. This is probably what it's going to look like in your uh, state of emergency in a lot of parts of Alabama, you're gonna see this white stuff on the ground. You're gonna to wanna to be real careful with that. Okay, now we gotta talk about the big kahuna. We gotta talk about the vehicles, and we gotta talk about driving or not driving, okay? All right, so here in Michigan, we always have a, oh, a snow scraper in there, but if you don't, you go into your wallet and you get out the credit card that you use the least and you scrape the ice 
off of your windshield. We do that when we get caught with ice in say, oh, June or 4th of July weekend and we don't have the uh, scraper still in our vehicle. Okay, now let's talk about driving. Let's get serious here, okay? Here in Michigan, we have a whole second set of redundant roads that have bumpers on them. So if you're gonna slide off into the ditch, you hit this bumper, you cream back in the middle, you're good to go. You drop, you lose a lot of Tim Hortons coffees, but we're fine. You do not have that second set of redundant winter road systems in Alabama. My advice, stay off the roads. This is not the time to learn how to drive in snow and ice. Okay, so there's some tips from us folks here in Michigan. We want you Alabamans to be safe. We want you to remember, have plenty of bacon on hand, an extension cord that reaches the router for Pinterest, and more importantly, stay off the roads. Be safe, my friends.